A welcome, Wolf and Wolfettes. We are back with Spyro Reignited Trilogy, Spyro 1 on the PlayStation 4 Pro. And I am actually recording this on a Saturday night. And as you guys and girls know, I very, very, very rarely get a chance to record any videos during the weekend. So it's currently 9 o'clock at night and I'm recording a little bit of Spyro because I've got a bit of time. So if these videos turn out well, then I'm gonna to have to try and kick people out of my house more often so I can record on a Saturday night more often, you know? Because, <laughs> I mean, I really wish I could record at weekends because it would take so much stress off of me trying to record throughout the week, you know? Because during weekends, there's no noise to worry about, but because it's the weekend, I've got stuff to do, there's people in the house, you know, I can never ever record at weekends. And obviously in the past, I used to be traveling to see my fiance before she moved in with me. So, you know, uh, it's always been a big no-no the weekends, but yeah. It's Saturday and I'm making a couple of Spyro videos. So if you feel like these videos go good, I'm gonna make two. Then let me know in the comments if you feel like these went better. But yeah, we are currently in world number three. I think it's called Cra Magic Crafters. Let's have a look. Yeah, Magic Crafters world. And um, I now I played this game back in the 90s, like I mentioned, and I only think I did the first two worlds. So there is a very big chance that I might make a couple of mistakes in this video because I don't think I've ever, ever been to World 3 and beyond in Spyro 1. So as I always say, if I miss anything, feel free to let me know in the comments where it is, you know. Obviously, this game is very easy and the chance of you not being able to find all of the hidden stuff is very low, but there's always a possibility that I might miss a secret, you know. Like um, a couple of videos back, we did a frosty level. I think it was called Icy Caverns. And in that video, I found three health chests but I didn't know how to get to them. And then I ended up leaving them behind because I didn't need them for 100%, you know. But I've actually discovered, if you remember that level, if you go back to the beginning of the level, walk to the right, I think, and then you just jump off of the edge into the abyss and then sort of fly around the corner, you can land where those three chests are. So just things like that, you know. If you know any secrets like that or you know how to do them and I mess up on them or I give up on them, just let me know in the comments, you know, because I don't mind going back and doing them again, you know. It might help somebody out, you know. But yeah, also, in this hub area, I mean, I've already killed a few dudes whilst I was setting up all my stuff, but there are a bunch of these, like, druid guys. You see that, you see that guy over there? Well, there's, like, five of him in this little room here. If you charge all of them very quickly, then you get yourself a cheeky trophy. So, <laughs> just thought I'd quickly mention that. But yeah, this is world number three. I've never done any of the levels in this world. I uh, cleared out all of this hub area in the last video. So we've already got all of the gems and the dragons and the eggs and stuff. So we're gonna start things off by going to Alpine Ridge. Now uh, I'm hoping that I can focus on the normal levels in this video and in the next video because I don't really wanna start doing like boss fights and flying levels on a Saturday night, you know, because if I mess up too much, I'm going to end up going to bed quite late. I know it's only 9 o'clock, but you have to remember, I'm always up at 4, so 9 o'clock for Beowulf, it's pretty damn late. <laughs> I, honestly, I feel like an old man. I'm only 26, I feel like an old man. Damn. <laughs> I don't care, though, I don't care. Everyone has to do their jobs, don't they? And, uh, you know, if I weren't doing this, some other poor fucker would have to do my job, so it's better I just do it. <laughs> right. Oh, look at that. Oh, damn, what is that? What are you giving to him? Is he feeding him? Are they Wampa fruits? Oh my, I've never noticed that before. Well, I've never done this world before. That's gotta be a Wampa fruit. That's gotta be like a little cheeky nod to Crash Bandicoot. Because Crash Bandicoot and Spyro always had this little like cool little rivalry between each other. But also they used to like acknowledge each other in the games. Like there was a secret code in Crash 1 to get a uh, Crash free to get a Spyro demo. I think there was also something in this game that gave you a, a something to do with Crash Bandicoot, you know? And they've even got Wampa Fruits in it. That's a nice little touch. I've never seen that. That is cool. Right, let's have a look on the menu, see what we've got to do. So we need to gather 500 gems. Holy hell. We need to get four dragons and we need to capture one of those egg snatchers. So that should be fun. Right, let's have a look if there's anything over on the edge here, because, you know, sometimes there's little, like, ledges and stuff down the bottom in there that you have to jump on. Sometimes there's also, like, hidden things with healths on and stuff like that. Now, I've got, to get, I've got a quick question for you guys and girls. Um, if you've got a PlayStation 4 Pro, hopefully some of you have. Oh, God, I forgot he had that uh, armor on. 
But if you guys and girls have got a, a PlayStation 4 Pro and you've got Spyro, let me know if you keep having frame rate problems. Because I don't know if it's just something that I've done with my setup has gone a bit wrong, but every time I seem to record this on YouTube, I seem to get really weird frame rate problems where it starts going really slow and stuff, you know, and like really choppy and stuff. So if you guys and girls have got this on PS4 Pro, let me know if you're getting any lag. Because it just seems very laggy and very frame rate droppy, you know. So if you guys and girls are having that problem, let me know. Because it is a right pain in the butt, you know. Like I'm not, I'm not a bit, I'm not like a technological nerd, you know. I don't get all uppity over tiny little things. But when you're playing a platforming game, you don't want to have like the frame rate stuttering and stuff. Because if you're trying to do like a, a hard platformy jumpy bit, you know, you don't want the game to keep like stuttering and stuff because it can end up getting you dead. I like how some of them have got a uh, nice armor on and some of them ain't got any armor on. Oh, quick, quick. Oh, that was close. What health am I on? Green. What is that? Is that... Is green... Is green like one away from being dead or is green one from the top? I can't remember. It goes yellow, green and blue, doesn't it? I can't remember. It's been a couple of days since I played this. I've actually... Oh, hello. Zane. Spyro, you're not afraid of those big, noisy, gigantic, awful beasts, are you? Of course not. Oh, good. I didn't think so. I flipping love the graphics in this game, you know. I, I like how they've made all the dragons look as well. I know I'm complaining about the frame rate, you know, but with how beautiful this game looks, I'm not surprised the frame rate's a little bit choppy, you know, because it is a damn good looking game. Is there anything up there? Because you never know in these games, they always like to be sneaky, don't they? Have like a secret hidden gem up there that you just miss by not jumping. Now it doesn't look like there's any up there. Yeah, I was going to talk about Sank in this video and I've completely forgot what it was. Oh yeah, I don't know if you guys and girls have seen it, but Disney are making, because as you guys and girls know, Disney is pretty much working on a bunch of live action movies for all of their old cartoon movies, you know, so like they've already done Jungle Book, they've already done Beauty and the Beast and a bunch of others. They also had this like spin-off Sleeping Beauty one called M Maleficent or whatever it was called. So uh, they're actually doing The Lion King and it comes out next year in July, I think, and it's only a small teaser, you know, it doesn't really have much, you know, it doesn't really need to show you much because everybody knows the story of Lion King at this point, but the visuals are absolutely gorgeous and Simba is so goddamn cute. If you haven't seen the trailer, I mean, I'm recording this on Saturday. You'll probably be watching this on Monday. So uh, it should probably still be trending on YouTube. It is in England at least. But if you go onto trending, it's number one trending at the moment. If not, just, uh, just search Lion King and I'm sure it will be the first result. But oh my God, they have made Simba look so damn cute. It was a, it was a pretty... Um, it was a pretty weird teaser trailer because there was a bit of a there was like a narrator in the trailer, and he um, he was talking about the story and that, and you had the usual Lion King music, but you didn't actually see any of the animals talk, and the animals are supposed to talk because they've all got voice actors because it tells you at the end of the uh, trailer, but they didn't have any uh, any of the animals talking in the trailer. I thought it was a bit weird. Would have been nice to hear one of them talk or something, see if their voices are good, you know, but. It was like just a just a thing I was wondering about. Eldred. Thank you for releasing me. Damn. Damn, that is one call. Cool, that looks like uh, that dragon looks like Gretchen from Recess. <laughs> you guys have got seen that? It's a pretty old. Uh, it's a pretty old cartoon. That a Disney cartoon. I'm talking a lot about Disney today, and I. It's an old Disney cartoon, it is oh, it is brilliant. I absolutely love Recess. I've been watching it recently, recently on YouTube. Got obsessed with it. I think I was recommended it for some reason, not quite sure why. But uh, I clicked one and about 100 videos later, I'm still bloody watching it. <laughs> Has he got armor on? Yes, he does. I need to uh, pay a bit more attention because I'm not really, I'm sort of talking and just hopping around and I might be missing a bunch of stuff. This is the kind of place where you'd find something secret in it. Like a little ledge you need to jump to. That's the beginning of the level, in it? Yeah, it is. Now let's break open these chests. We'll talk to the dragon and then we'll go back down and have a look around. Xander. Great work, Spyro. If you keep this up, 
You'll learn all the tricks of the magic crafter's world. Well, is that if you keep this up, you'll learn all of the tricks of the magic crafter's world? Huh. That's probably the first dragon I've actually been able to hear, because I've got the TV love, as you guys and girls know. <laughs> oh, a couple more gems down here. Oh, oh look at that. That cheeky little uh, gem hiding in the fireworks crate. I suppose we also have to keep an eye out for... Ouch! We have to keep an eye out for any secrets, because there's been a couple of secrets in this game, actually. Like, uh, when we were doing one of the levels, I think it was two videos back, there was a, uh, a random firework, and, uh, if you, and it was the only way to blow up this chest, and the chest had a lock on it, if I remember correctly, but it was one of those levels that didn't require a key. So, um, it actually, uh, if you couldn't find that firework, you'd have actually have missed one of the chests, you know, so we're going to have to keep our... Oh, God, I keep doing that. We're going to have to keep our... Oh, no! Gonna have to keep our eyes peeled for any uh, like random hidden things, you know, like fireworks and stuff like that, or cannons and stuff like that, you know. Making a lot of errors in this video. I do apologise. I need to stop talking so much. So we're missing a hundred. Which way haven't I been? I came from this direction, didn't I? Yeah, I came from. Ah, oh, I can. Oh, how the hell am I supposed to get back across there? I guess I'm gonna have to. Uh, yeah, I assume I'm gonna have to go back to the begin. Oh, that was close. I assume I'm gonna have to go back to the beginning. Yeah, because there is a bunch of. Yeah, look. There's a bunch of firework crates, and they're gonna have quite a lot of gems inside of them. I oh, could. Could I jump from up here? Do you think we can do it? Do you think we can make that? Oh, uh, no, I don't think we can. We must have to jump from here, actually. Yeah, because we're not going to be able to jump from that ledge. It's not high enough. Right, let's give it a go. I knew that was going to happen. I didn't commit to the charge. As long as it puts me, uh, as long as it puts me back up there, then it should be fine. There was a checkpoint there, wasn't there? Reigniting. Yeah, okay. Right, let's give it a proper run up. Yeah, it looks uh, looking a bit more promising this time, isn't it? Yeah, there we go. Is this gonna hurt me? <laughs> this is probably how you lose most of your health in this game, just trying to get to these little secret out of the way to bit out of the way hard to reach bits. Oh what the hell? Alright. Oh, look at that sneaky little devil. So how are we going to do this? Oh, look at that. It's freaking stuck. Oh, shit! I should have probably broke the um, dragon first to get the checkpoint. How am I supposed to um, get the other two? I didn't run. I hope that ain't going to get me killed. Oh, we just about made it. Right, let's jump over here and get a checkpoint. Kelvin. What a name. Remember that these blue thieves have stolen eggs outside the Magic Crafters world as well. Don't worry. I'll take care of them. I'm a little bit confused by some of these dragons because... Some of them don't even have dragon wings. Like that dude had bird wings. That's a bit of a weird dragon, isn't it? Let's, let's get this little devil. Actually, let's just leave him there, actually. I want to go back and get these chests. I don't want to accidentally miss them. Just in case, you know. Oh. Oh, you sneaky devil. So you have to chase him in a hole. Is he going to come back down? Get your ass back down here. They're actually pretty damn scary, actually, isn't they? I don't I didn't remember them ever being that creepy. I don't know if they've made them creepier on the, on the PS4 version, but I, re I don't remember them being that scary. I remember them being annoying. That's about it. Yeah, this is going to be very annoying. I can already feel it. 
Once again, I'm holding the control in a very weird way so I'm able to charge and then quickly tap circle. Because if you use your thumb on the square, then trying to switch over to the trying to switch over to the flame breath is not as quick as if you have like your index finger on the square and then your like ring finger on the circle. Bit of a stupid way to play, but I feel like it makes me flame quicker. Damn, this guy's irritating as hell, isn't he? <laughs> oh, I could have probably got him then. Ah, oh, right, so we're going to have to get him up here or just as he drops. That's sort of around here, isn't it? There we go. There we go. Whew. Hardest thing in this game is these bloody egg snatchers. Alright, so what we've got to do now, we've got to go back and do those fireworks, innit? Why the hell does he, does he... I don't understand why he jumps like such a weirdo. I'm losing so many healths on this bit. Alright, let's have a look. Because you hold... You're supposed to hold cross and then jump at the, like, the top of your jump. See, and he still doesn't reach it. I'm not going to have to... Uh, I'm probably going to have to go back to that high ledge, you know. Because I... How many, how many uh, gems do I need? 433. Maybe... Let me jump back across a minute and have a look over there. Yeah. I think I'm going to have to jump there, burn it, jump to the next one, burn it, jump to the final one, burn it, and then by then that second one should have exploded and then I jump back. Probably got to do it like that, I'm just assuming. Probably just doing it really stupidly. Let's go back up here again. It seems like it's the only way to get there. Okay, so we burn this one. Burn this one. Just gotta make sure I be careful with the Pop the tops. Oh. See, most of the trophies in this game, you're basically just by doing something you were going to do anyway, you know. Uh, what way do I want to go? Have I got them all? Have I got everything? No. What the hell? Why am I missing all of those? Let's have a look down there. Was there anything? I don't think there was anything down that side, was there? Let's have a look. There's probably going to be some stuff out here, isn't there? Got to be like something I can jump to, maybe. Like I said, I've never ever done these levels and I haven't actually had the chance to play through it yet and learn where all the secrets are before making a YouTube video. So, the next two videos will be blind, but after that I will probably get ahead. Hang on a minute, what's that blue gem doing there? Am I good? Can I do it like this? You little turd. Where, where are all of the uh, gems? So we've been down there. I'm gonna to have to jump across again because I need to get that blue one. It sort of keeps dropping over the edge for some reason, not quite sure why. I was hoping to get like two, two levels done in this video, but it looks like I'm only gonna get one done at this rate. If I die, oh, that's not gonna count, is it? Because it didn't save. So I'm gonna to have to do that bit again. I suppose the other one should still be. Nope, no, it saved it. Okay then, I think. Yeah, right. So let's have a look back here now. There's gotta be somewhere else we can go to. It's gotta be somewhere near the beginning, isn't there? It's because I was too busy to, actually I think I, yeah, I can already see it. It's because I was busy talking about, what was I talking about? I don't even know what I was talking about at this point. Oh yeah, I was talking about um, Thingy, weren't I? Lion King. So I'm good. This is why you have to come up here, then, isn't it? So I lead you up here with gems, and then you have to jump across to there. Okay, I get it. I understand. Ah, <laughs> oh, I need to stop talking about random things, and I won't get so distracted. Look at this dude. Damn. 
They're pretty creepy looking, aren't they? Sort of looks like one of those egg snatchers in a wizard suit. Take that, you sod. <coughs> Come here, you. Just remember, though, it's always beneficial to kill the sheep. Because even if Sparks is on full health, you have the chance of finding a blue butterfly and it will give you an extra health. So it's always good. Oh, God. It's always good to kill them regardless of your health. Unless you love sheep, then, you know, it's not a good idea to kill them. <laughs> I love sheep, but I also love being able to finish the game. So, you know. <laughs> Look at these three little trolls. Ah, this should be all of them, shouldn't it? Yeah, and there's going to be a 10 in here. Yeah, there we go. Lovely. 500 gems. Four dragons and one egg. Lovely. That's that done then. Am I going to be able to jump over there from here? Yes. Lovely. Uh, sorry about that though, Wolf Wolf I did mention that this is my first time doing this game. Well, not my first time doing the game, but it's my first time doing this part of Spyro 1 because I've only ever done World 1 and 2. So there was bound to be a few mistakes. <laughs> Ah, oh, I've got about 10 minutes left, I think, so I will try my best to get through the second level as well. I think part... What what part is this? Part 7. So part 8 will probably be a boss. I, don't, I didn't really want to do a boss whilst recording tonight, but yeah, part 8 will have a boss in it, so that's also going to be blind as well. But the bosses in this game are not really anything to worry about, are they? Such a beautiful dragon, isn't he? Such a handsome boy. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I suppose I might as well mention this now. As you guys and girls know, at the moment I am doing both Spyro and Red Dead Redemption 2. So what I think I'm going to do, because I finally finished Red Dead Redemption 2 on my own, and it is an absolutely humongous game. I mean... Props to Rockstar Games, they have made a massive game, you know, and there's a ton of content in that game. I mean, if you want to get the Platinum Trophy, you're going to be playing for, I'd say, 300 hours, and that's not an exaggeration. That's actually me being fair, because there's so much to do in that game. And even if you don't bother with any additional trophies, you're going to be playing for at least 60 hours. Just the story is about 60 hours, you know. So that means my, my, spite, my Red Dead Redemption playthrough is going to probably be about 60 videos. Maybe a bit less as I know what to do, but... It's going to be quite a lot of hours, so once I've finished Spyro 1, I think I'm going to go back to doing Red Dead Redemption 2 every day so I can actually get through it and actually finish it, you know? And then once that's done, we will do Spyro 2 and 3. So I think that's what's going to be the plan, because I was going to do this 2 and 3 and then alternate with Red Dead Redemption, but the game is massive. It's insane. It's a brilliant game, though. If you don't have Red Dead Redemption, I recommend it massively, because it is brilliant. What's this one called? High Caves. Okay, we're going to start doing this one. I don't know if I'm going to have enough time to finish it, but I'll give it a go. I've got about, what, seven minutes left, so there's always a chance. <laughs> Depends on how many um, gems there are in the level. I think, it, I think it will be 500. The only time you have less gems to collect is in the boss levels normally. But I think there's 12,000 gems to collect altogether. Entering higher caves. Right. Oh dear. How we gotta do then? Five hundred gems, two egg snatchers this time, and three dragons to find. Okay. Got some crazy crap going on over there. What are you all doing? I thought you was all working together to defeat me. You guys are beating each other up. <laughs> I mean, if you were smart, then he could use his tornado, and then those two dudes could freeze the tornado and create like a frosty tornado that would slow me down and hurt me. That's if you work together, you know? Like a Pikachu and a Squirtle. Well, I would make a... D didn't Ash do that in Pokemon, where he got... P oh, no. Oh, I didn't know there were spiders in Spyro. Oh, God. Oh, that's disgusting. Oh, look. Oh, no. Oh, what? They made a rock. Oh, God. Oh, crap. I don't kill it. What the hell? Am I 
I supposed to just run away from them? <laughs> Damn, I just got wrecked by a spider. But yeah, in one of the Pokemon episodes, I don't know which generation it was, I think it was like one of the later gens, maybe Johto or Hoenn. But uh, didn't, didn't Ash get Bulbasaur and Squirtle to work, um, Pikachu and Squirtle to work together? Like Squirtle using Hydro Cannon off something, and then um, Pikachu uses his like, Thunderbolt on it, and it makes like a very supercharged electro, electro, uh, electric shock. I think I might be imagining it. I swear something like that happened in Pokemon. If it didn't happen, it should happen. It'd be cool. I've still got to start playing Pokemon Let's Go. Still haven't played that yet. Cyrus. Holy hell, that's Please a fat dragon. Something about these green druids. They insist on moving everything in sight. This level is a little bit... Uh, I don't think I should have come this way, actually. I should have gone the spider way first. Oh damn, look at this. This sort of reminds me of one of the levels in Crash Bandicoot. There is a lot of hidden looking things in this level. You ain't gotta worry though, if you do have trouble finding anything hidden in this game, it's all it's all good because Sparks will show you where it is. Like this bit right here would be the kind of bit that you might miss, you know. Are we going back down here now? Yeah. Okay. Alright, here we go. This is the bit where I'm gonna end up dead probably. <laughs> Because I remember there being a level like this in Crash Bandicoot 1 and it is horrible. It just, it's just so so awkward to jump onto the platforms. I think it might be Sunset Vista maybe. Because you land on the uh, you land on the platforms and they sort of rotate and then Crash sort of twists his body around and nearly it just sort of slides off. It's, it's such an awkward level. If you play Crash, you know what I'm on about. What's that? Funny thing is though, you would think, oh, because it's a Saturday evening, at least B Wolf hasn't got to worry about deliveries. But no, I actually had a lot of deliveries come today on Saturday. What are they? Are they zombies? What are you all doing? That's going to be some sort of secret, isn't it? But yeah, you, you'd think I've got no deliveries to come, and you're, you're, you're incorrect, Wolf and Wolfette, you're incorrect. All my deliveries came in the morning. Like six, I think it was six items from Amazon. And, uh,. I think there's something called Geek Store or something. I had a bunch of presents for uh, my fiance and that and family. And uh, everything came except one item. They decided to take, to take one item out of my Amazon order and to deliver it separately. Not quite sure why, but they did. And that is due to come any time up until, well, it should have already been here before nine. That's why I recorded at nine. But it hasn't arrived yet. Ajax. I hate those bugs. When I become big and strong like you, I'll squash them all. <laughs> Until then, remember that supercharge makes you invincible. But yeah, it was supposed to have been here at 9, so I made sure to start recording at 9, so there weren't no uh, chance of knocks and stuff. And guess what? It didn't arrive, so there's still the possibility that someone's going to randomly knock on my door now, and my dog's going to go ape shit. <laughs> oh, I feel like we can't actually kill these spiders. Did I miss anything up there? Oh crap, there's a... Oh shit! I feel like we're gonna have to defeat these guys because... Oh damn, leave me alone! Because um, some, a lot of the enemies drop gems in this, uh, in this game. Oh my god! I hate spiders. Go, 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 go. I've not got any health left. Oh, cool! <laughs> oh, cool! And then immediately dies. I'm going to assume I can burn the spiders with that. Oh, damn! I didn't know there was like super breaths and stuff in this. Huh. Well, I'm going to have to continue with this next time. So yeah, thanks for watching, Wolf. Well, first, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Sorry if my commentary was a bit naff. Like I said, I don't really normally record on a Saturday night, but 
it's going to take the stress off of me next week. So I decided to just record a few videos on Saturday as there's nobody around to distract me. So, you know, it was uh, it felt a bit weird. But yeah, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video anyway. Like, share and join the pack today. Oh.